Welcome to Lumion 12. Let me guess, you're a professional designer or studying to be one. You're up for the challenge of taking back control by rendering your own designs, and you're ready to make it fun in a way it's never been. Well, if this sounds like you, you're in the right place. So how do you do Lumion? Or Lumion your design? Is that even how you say it? That's not how you say it. No, you're going to build a 3D model in your favorite CAD or BIM program, then import that model into Lumion where you'll render captivating visuals with emotion and feeling that will make your clients jump out of their seats and say, I want that, that's what I was thinking. Now here's the rub. Lumion has long been praised as being intuitive and easy to learn, and it is. But I will make you this promise. If you stick with me through this tutorial series, I will cut your onboarding time in half. I'm going to get you from import to render fast, so you might consider watching this whole series through, then open Lumion and follow along. We are both professionals, there's simply no time for clicking around aimlessly. Let me guide you through a five-step process that will produce stunning results from any model. It goes like this. Import your design model from just about any popular 3D modeling program. Assign realistic Lumion materials to your model. Craft the environment using simple landscape modeling and painting tools. Populate your scene with animated objects from the enormous library that includes trees, plants, people, cars, furniture, everything you need to tell a story. Mix effects and render cinematic images, movies, panoramas, and even virtual reality. This workflow can be applied to any project. Hey, I'm Mike Brightman. I've been using Lumion to present my own designs for nearly a decade. I got a little free time here between projects. What do you say we open Lumion together? I'll show you around. Once you've installed Lumion and started it up, a hardware benchmark will check the speed of your computer. The results are shown here. It's important to follow the recommended specs and make sure you have the right hardware. You will especially need a good graphics card to get the most out of Lumion. If you're wondering how your machine would fare in this benchmark, the free trial includes the benchmark, and you can also check out Lumion's system requirements at lumion.com. Let's take a look at the welcome screen. Click on the benchmark button to see more detailed benchmark results. This computer has an NVIDIA RTX 2080 Ti card, and all the benchmark bars are above recommended, which means this machine is gonna handle even the most complex scenes with ease. Click back. The news and learning section on the welcome screen links to helpful blogs, knowledge base articles, and tutorials. These items update often, so you might find something useful when you start Lumion. Clicking the Create New button allows us to create a new project. You can choose from nine pre-built environments to place your project and start building your scene. Click back. The Examples button takes you to nine pre-made examples, fully textured, lit, and with several professional effects and styles already applied. In other words, these scenes are built and ready to render. The scenes feature some great classical architecture, as well as a variety of different settings, and they're a great place to explore when you want to learn on your own. How about we take a peek? Click on the beach house to load the scene. Hold down the right-click button and move your mouse to look around. Use the WSAD keys to move your camera forward, backward, left, or right. Q moves the camera up, E moves the camera down. This scene is super detailed, amazing. Let's learn how to move around the scene together to get a closer look. For a helpful combination that will get you anywhere, hold down the W key and the right mouse button at the same time. Then move your mouse to steer. Let's fly around and have a look. To move faster, you can hold the Shift key down as you're using the navigation keys. If you really want to push your speed, you can also throw in the space bar. All right, let's take a look at the rest of the user interface. On the bottom left, you'll see the main navigation has four tabs, Content Library, Materials, Landscape, and Weather. Let's dive into the Build Mode Weather options, which offers immediate insight and how lighting and shadows will affect your design. It's easy to change the sun height and direction by using the dials, and you can easily control the number of clouds using the slider. At the bottom right, you can access the photo, movie, and 360 panorama studios. Use these to create images, animations, and 360 images. Click the disk icon to get back to the welcome screen to manage your files or start a new project. Now just click on the build button to jump back to the scene you were working on. Click the gear icon to access Lumion's settings. If you are falling short on the benchmarks or have a large Lumion scene, you might consider backing down these settings here to increase performance. I like to keep my settings maxed out because I know my computer can handle it. Ultra wide or 4K monitors can put a drain on your system. 
So you may consider switching the Windows screen resolution to 1920 by 1080 to lighten the load, or to simply resize your Lumion window. Proxies are lightweight replacements for heavy objects that drastically improve performance and navigation. Let's turn them on so we can see them in action later. Input and system settings let you further customize your Lumion experience. Click back to return to build mode. One last tip, hovering over the question mark button overlays the screen with some helpful tips. Clicking on the question mark while in build mode will start Lumion's built-in tutorial. Nice work in there so far. You are going to be a pro in no time. Take a look at this playlist if you are still curious about the big picture to get a better idea of what Lumion is all about. Otherwise, follow me to this next video to check off that critical first step of importing your design model. I'll see you in there.